Hello, we are here in Glasgow today. It's freezing cold. I'm standing just in front of uh, MacGregor and Macduff, uh, kings of kilt. They are specialized in uh, tartan. Uh, tartan is a very old Scottish tradition and we are here to match my watch, which is uh, Chopa LUC XPS. Very beautiful, classical, um, ultra thin watch. We are going to see what happens with Ryan, the specialist of tartan. Before we start, there are a few things we'll be looking out for in our quest. This watch has some features that we want to make sure are also reflected in our choice of tartan. The XP in the name of the watch means extra plat, meaning ultra thin. The slim case in platinum gives a very elegant appearance, going perfectly with the minimalist blue dial. Will there be an elegant blue kilt waiting inside for us? Hello, Ryan. Hello. Nice to be with you yeah. today. Uh, so, as I told you, I came with a watch, uh, this Chopa yeah. LUC XPS, and I asked you to find an outfit yeah. for me. So, which uh, kilt did, yeah, did you choose? We've chosen the, the Iron Mist, which is one of our, our own um, tartans, so quite a, a contemporary um, style tartan. Um, its main colours are sort of blues and browns, which match quite nicely with the, the watch there. Um, and they're inspired by the Isle of Arran, so the, the sea around Arran, the landscape there as well. Um, and as I say, quite a contemporary style tartan, um, so it goes lovely with that mm -hmm. um, contemporary style watch. Can I see it? Of course, And yeah, try it on? I'll get one for you. Okay, okay, okay. thank you. So here we are, this is the, the Aran Mist, so our, our own tartan there. As I said, the, the lovely sort of navy blues, um, and greys and the, the brown highlights in there as well. Mm -hmm. So is it uh, warm enough for the Yeah, the uh, very the heavyweight tartan, so uh, usually most, most people find that they are warm enough in the, the Scottish weather. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, let's Okay, go. thank you. So we have our blue kilt, and it's made in heavyweight tartan, soft and light, but still very functional and warm. Another parallel with our watch. While it is an ultra-thin timepiece, the LUC collection is at the highest end of Chopin watchmaking, so even though it may be slim, it is still extremely high performance. Wow, it looks great. Yeah. How does it feel? Uh, I, I, it feels really good. I yeah. like it, warm. really. Yeah, <laughs> really warm. I, I'm really surprised yeah. because it's so freezing cold. Yeah, outside, of course. Yeah. So maybe you can tell me a bit more about Tartan that, now that I've tried yeah. it on. Of course. So, I mean, some of the ones you see behind you here, these are some more traditional style Tartans. So mm -hmm. different clan names, you know, for example, McGregor. And um, we've also got Mackenzie Douglas here as well. And um, so all 100% sort of Scottish wool um, uh, and the colours, those basically were used to identify the different clans. So for example, the McGregor you see here, very red, using natural um, sources that, that were available to, to the clans at the time to dye the fabric so they could differentiate between each clan. Mm -hmm. So when, when did it first appear? So um, tartan's been around for, for thousands of years um, and in fact in the, the 18th century it was banned after the, the Battle of Culloden um, because it was seen as um, rebellious um, and now obviously is used as a, a, a symbol for that. Um, so tartan's still seen as, as something that, that is quite, quite a rebellious um, fashion statement. Uh, so it's, uh, as I understand it, tartan is a, a big symbol of Scotland, but uh, what about the fabric and the patterns? Is there a specific way to to make it? They're, they're all handmade uh, by our kilt maker uh, Anne, which is a, a very precious skill to have that, that she passes on. Um, the kilts, you know, they, they really can last a lifetime. Many people will, will buy one when either they're getting married or maybe they, they turn 18 or 21, um, and then they, they keep it for their whole life and it can be passed down to, to, to their relatives, to other people. Um, so yeah, very sort of sustainable and, and long lasting. All this discussion reminded me of the unique dial iconography of the watch, especially the ends, which have a very particular shape that we immediately associate with the Chopin LUC collection. They come to a very sharp and precise point, like a dart or a pin, which made me think of something else. 
I still have a question about my outfit. Yes. What is this? So that is a kilt pin. So traditionally, when you would be wearing the, the traditional great kilt, which came all the way over the shoulder, that would be used to hold the, the, the kilt together. Nowadays, the way kilts are made, it's not necessarily needed for that. So it's used as an accessory, you know, to add a little bit of something to, to the bottom, but also to weigh the kilt down um, so that it, it stays in place and falls quite, quite nicely as it does on yourself. So this beautiful iron mist kilt has fulfilled all we expected as a match for the Shoparel UC XPS in terms of values, aesthetics, performance, and also its patrimony. But one final test remains for the kilt, the test of Scottish winter. So now maybe I can uh, try to go outside. It's uh, yeah. about zero degrees. Zero degrees and, at the moment. Just yes, te test to is. see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully okay. warm enough. Ah, actually it's quite warm, zero degrees outside, but I feel really cool in my kilt. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Bye. <laughs>